good morning friend today we will dis today we, we will discuss the fabrication process flow of cmos cmos means complementary mosfet technology use both n mos transistor and the p mos transistor so complementary mosfet consists of two types of transistor nmos transistor and pmos transistor so this is the circuit diagram of the cmos means this is the nmos transistor and this is the pmos transistor we know both nmos transistor and pmos transistors consist of four terminals the name of the terminals is body source gate and drain and it will be repeat for the pmos transistor body drain gate and source we know for nmos transistor we require p type substrate and for pmos transistor we require n type substrate so in this case we created first of all we take p type substrate and in which we create n well this is the n well so we, here we implement n type mosfet in p type substrate and p type mosfet in n well cmos can be fabri uh, fabricated using the different process first is the n well process for cmos fabrication in this process we create n well in p type substrate p well process in this case we create p well in n type substrate and twin of cmos fabrication means we create both n well and p well uh, the n well and p well and in l well we implement p type mosfet and in p well we implement n type mosfet CMOS can be obtained by integrating both NMOS and PMOS transistor on the same chip substrate. The in, for integrating these NMOS and PMOS devices on the same chips, special regions as well as, as wells or tubes are required. Means we require N well in P type substrate or P well in N type substrate, or we require both. In well and P well in semiconductor, in which semiconductor types and substrates are opposite to each other. Means types of well and substrate are opposite to each other. If substrate is P type, then N well must be N type, and if the substrate is N type, then the well must be P type. The P well has to be created on N substrate, or N well has to be created on P substrate. In this fabrication of CMOS, is described using the P substrate in which N MOS transistor is fabricated on P type substrate, and P MOS transistor is fabricated in N well. The fabrication process involves approximately 20 steps which are as follows the first step is substrate first of all we take the substrate so in this case we take p type substrate so primarily it starts the process with a p substrate so we take p type substrate step 2 oxidation by thermal oxidation process the oxidation process is done by using the high purity oxygen and hydrogen which are exposed in an oxid oxidation furnace approximately at 100 degrees centigrade. So by thermal oxidation at 100 degrees centigrade we convert SI silicon into silicon dioxide. So we create SiO2 layer. So this is the SiO2 layer which is uh, by the thermal oxidation so this is the SiO2 layer this is the SiO2 layer 
Fourth step is masking. The photoresist is exposed to the ultraviolet rays through the envelope mask. So, by using the envelope mask, by using the envelope, we expose the photoresist material. This is the photoresist material. This is the SiO2 layer. This is the envelope, and this is the ultraviolet. Yes. Photoresist removal. A part of the photoresist layer is removed by, by treating the wafer with the basic or acidic solution. So this part of photoresist is removed. This type of photoresist is removed by the acidic solution. Uh, by again we removal of the SiO2 layer using the acidic acid etching. The SiO2 oxidation layer is removed through the open area made by the removal of photoresist using the hydrofluoric acid. So, by using the hydrofluoric acid, we remove the we remove this SiO2 layer. So, we reaches to the P-type substrate. We remove this SiO2 layer. This SiO2 layer is removed in this open area. So, we reaches to the P type substrate. Removal of photoresist material. The entire photoresist is stripped off as shown in the given figure. So, photoresist material above the SiO2 layer is removed. Above the SiO2 layer is removed. Formation of envelope. Now, by using the ion implantation or diffusion process, envelope is formed. So, NVL is formed in this region by using the ion implantation or diffusion process. Removal of SiO2 layer. Using the hydrofluoric acid, remaining SiO2 layer is removed. So, SiO2 layer, this SiO2 layer is removed by using the hydrofluoric acid. Deposition of polysilicon. The chemical vapor deposition process is used to deposit a very thin layer of gate oxide. Again, very thin layer of gate oxide and polysilicon is deposited over the substrate. So again, very thin layer of the thin gate oxide and polysilicon is deposited on the substrate. Removal Removing the layer, bearing the a small area for the gates. Now we have to create the terminal for the gate. So we will remove some portion. Expect the two a small region required for forming the gates of NMOS and PMOS. The remaining layers is stripped off. Means this is for the gate terminal of the N-type MOSFET and this is the gate terminal for the P-type MOSFET. We remains as it is and other area other silicon dioxide and polythene gate oxide and polysilicon are removed oxidation process next an oxidation layer is formed on this layer with two small regions for the formation of gates terminal of the nmos and pmos so this is the terminals for the nmos and this is the terminal for the pmos of the gate so this is the terminal for the nmos and this is the terminal for the PMOS of the gate. Next point. Masking and the end diffusion. By using the masking process, small gaps are made on the for the purpose of end diffusion. So for the end diffusion, we create two holes in P-type substrate. This we have to create uh, the terminal for the drain and source and one hole is created in the envelope for the body of the PMOS. The N-type dop uh, dopants are, dif are diffused or ion implanted and the 3 N plus are formed for the formation of the terminals of NMOS. So three regions are created. This is for the drain of the NMOS, this is for the source of the NMOS and this is for the body of the PMOS. Oxide stripping. 
the remaining oxide layer is stripped off so remaining oxide layer this oxide layer is except this is for the gate terminal so we will not strip off this diffusion p diffusion similar to the n diffusion similar to the n diffusion we have a diffusion process the p diffusion regions are diffused to form the terminals of the p mos so this is the terminals for the body of the n mos this is the terminal for the drain of the p mos and this is the uh, terminal for the source of the p mos this is the terminal for the body of the n mos now thick filled oxide a thick filled oxide is formed in all the region expect the terminals for the p mos and n mos so thick oxide layer is formed except for the terminals of the p mos and n mos so this is the terminals for the n mos and this is the three terminals for the p mos and this is the terminals for the n mos metallization aluminum is sputtered on whole wafers means aluminum is put for the contact so aluminum is put for for the contact for the terminals of the nmos and the pmos removal of excess material the excess material is removed from the wafer so excess material is removed excess material is removed terminals terminals of the pmos and nmos are made for respective gaps so terminals are made this is the, uh, the four terminals of the N nmos and this is the four terminals of the pmos what is it next step assign the names of the terminals of the nmos and pmos now we assign the terminals of the nmos and pmos so this is the terminals for the nmos this is the body source gate and drain and this is the terminals for the pmos source gate drain and body so all these are the fabrication of the cmos